following is what happens when you push your luck with a newly constructed remote control airplane in Santa Cruz, California. Enjoy. I built a new camera plane out of XPS foam. That's the pink foam that you see in sheets uh, at Home Depot or your, your building supply. And I've mounted a camera on this thing. The airplane uses a pusher prop and prop torque from the pusher drives the plane to the right and down. I'm trying to shake this out and adjust the aircraft accordingly and I've made some adjustments and I'm checking them out today. And I really feel like getting some flight time in so I'm probably trying to fly this plane further than I should have under the current conditions. You can see me wobbling back and forth to compensate for the different effects. I, I'm uh, shifting to the left to try and get the aircraft to, uh, to fly straight, and the prop torque is turning me around. So here's me going, uh-oh, better get back to base. Except I've passed a little bit of mist and fog. My visibility at 56 years old is, uh, is not so great at this point, and I can't tell which direction the airplane's going. I'm trying to make judgment calls on this without panicking, which isn't really working. I'm getting a dry mouth, and I'm flying away from myself at this point, directly away. I think I'm flying towards myself. I'm not. I realize the plane's getting smaller, and I try and turn it around again. Too much throttle, huge torque roll, and things are getting worse. The plane does have an alarm system on it. If it loses track of the transmitter for more than two minutes, it will set off an alarm and help you find it if it gets lost. So I've got that in my favor, but it's not making me feel any better right now back in the gulch with the transmitter in my hand. Once again, I'm trying to turn it around, judge which direction I'm going, and I keep failing to do that and, and running the plane further and further away. Finally, I get it turned around. I'm headed back in the right direction, and I don't trust it. And uh, and lose that traction. I see the death spiral is driving me further and further into the deck and I know that I do not want to land with the prop uh, spinning under power it's for safety reasons and for reasons of protecting the plane itself. I kill the throttle and let it drift in in the hopes that I can drive over here in a hurry and find out where my plane's landed. So it's in free flight right now just drifting into the neighborhood and uh, it's got a little left trim and so that left trim is kind of making it make a slow left hand turn and up comes a tree. Slow motion coming into the tree. So I pack up my transmitter but I don't turn it off. For some reason I'm in a hurry and I leave the power on the transmitter running. The uh, plane stays in the tree, but as long as the, it can't see the transmitter, the alarm goes off. But anytime I pass through the neighborhood, I have the transmitter still turned on and with me in the car. So when I'm listening for the plane, I can't hear it because it turns off the alarm when it makes contact with the transmitter. So in this comedy of errors, I just keep shooting myself in the foot. So I'm home making lost posters. The plane is still up in the tree in the neighborhood and the alarm is going off on the plane and the neighbors are getting pretty unhappy about this whole situation. <laughs> the neighborhood is so frustrated by this damn plane beeping up in the tree that they rally and send a uh, intrepid volunteer to climb the tree and bring down the plane who later sees my lost poster gives me a call <laughs> and all ends well. One, two, three.